Hi. In the last video, we talked about importing images into iPhoto. In this one, we're going to talk about once they're imported, how do we organize them? We're going to mainly talk about organizing our event library by merging and splitting events and giving them names and so on, as well as creating an album to keep things organized. I definitely always uh, do this. As soon as I import my images, always organize them and name them. You can do the other stuff later, but if you get behind on the naming and the just real basic organizing, it just gets way out of hand. So I highly suggest doing this right off the bat. Before we actually get into organizing, we need to talk about how iPhoto organizes your photos. Every picture, every image that is anywhere in iPhoto, anything that's ever been put in iPhoto, unless it's been deleted, is somewhere in this library right here in the top left corner. Okay, That holds every picture in iPhoto. You can view your library in at least two different ways. One is by this events category right here, and the other is by the photos category just below it. You'll notice that in photos we can scroll down and see each individual photo one at a time, and at the bottom of the window it says that we have 42 photos in one event. Now if I go up to my events library up here, it just shows my one event, but at the bottom it says one event with 42 photos. Now if I double click on this event, I'm going to see all of the 42 photos that are inside of it. I point this out just so that you know that uh, both events and photos here contain all of the images in your library. They're just two different ways of looking at it. And no, they're not duplicating the images, uh, they're just organized differently. With that said, we're going to go forward to organizing events because events is really the backbone of iPhoto's organization. So you really want to keep your events library organized properly. Um, albums are secondary. When I'm organizing my events library, there are three basic steps to that. Uh, firstly, I'm going to split up my events and or, or merge them, and, and so they're grouped properly. So that, for example, all of my Christmas pictures are in a Christmas event, birthday 2010 is in the birthday event, etc. Um, secondly, we're going to name the events. And thirdly, we're going to give them each a key photo. The key photo is this image on top that represents the entire um, event. So in this case, I have a picture of a boat on the Amazon River uh, that represents this whole event. And you can choose that key photo. So we're going to try and choose um, appropriately representative images. Let's start with splitting them up. I'm going to click twice on my event here to open it up and see all the images inside. Uh, and I'm going to select the first image that I want to uh, split off. Okay, In the lower left corner, there's this yellow button that says Split. If I click that, you'll notice it's going to draw a line right between them. And now I actually have two events. One is called My Photos and the other is called Untitled Event. I'm going to go through and um, keep splitting up my events. Okay, I've got all my events split up now. I'll click on All Events in the top left-hand corner go back. And now in my events library you'll see I have a bunch of different events, seven, um, all split up. Uh, conversely, if I if they were already split up and I wanted to merge them together, I can do that a few different ways. Uh, probably the easiest way is click and drag one event on top of another. You'll get this green plus button. Let go and it'll ask you if you want to merge the events. And we say yes. And now you'll see those two events got merged together and now I have one event with four images inside of it, as it says in the bottom left, bottom right corner um, beneath the image. Uh, if you want to merge multiple events all together, you can select a bunch of them, and in the bottom left corner there's a merge button where the split button used to be. Uh, I'm not going to merge these right now, but you can if you want to. After merging and splitting, we need to name them. Again, a few different ways of doing this. If I do it from this view, uh, I can double click on the white text under the name, uh, give it a name, and press tab to go to the next one. After having named them, we need to give them a key photo image. Again, there are a few different ways of doing it. Uh, I'll show you two. 
from this particular view where we're looking at all of our events separately, you can slide your um, cursor, your mouse, across the event, left to right, right to left, and you'll get a preview of all the different images in there. Find an image that you like, that you want to be the key photo, and hit the space bar on your keyboard. Now when I move my mouse away, you'll notice that that image uh, stays as the key photo. I'll do the same with Brazil over here so you can see. Right now I have the sunset picture, but I'm going to browse through and find these palm trees here. And I'll hit the space bar and move it away, and now that is the representative image. With uh, India, I will choose Ashwini here, hit the space bar, and there she is. So she stays. The other way to do it is to open up the event. So I'll click twice on it, find an image that I like, and then I, this is just one of many ways to do it. I can drag this image up to the thumbnail up here at the top next to the name where it says New York. Let go. Okay, and you'll see that it's changed. Now I have this subway image as my key photo. Okay. So that's it for organizing your events. Merge, split, name, and add a key photo. Next, uh, albums. Unfortunately, people tend to make albums that are redundant with their events. I don't have to make an album for all of my New York images because they're already grouped here in the events library. So it would just be unnecessary to make an another album. What I can use albums for, though, is when I want to group or select just certain images from one event or uh, a variety of images from multiple events. So, for example, if I just want three building images from New York. I don't want all my New York pictures, I just, I'm just i doing a building portfolio. Then I can select my three images, click the plus button in the bottom left corner to add something, and you'll get this little window that pops up. Seven tabs along the top, you can explore them now. Uh, we're gonna do that in later videos. For now we'll just leave it on album and give this album a name. Make sure that this checked box is selected to add the images that I already have to this new album. And then I'll click Create. You'll notice on the left side here, I now have a NY Buildings album. And inside of it are my three New York building images. When I want to get back to all of my photos, I'm just going to click on Events in the top left corner. And here I am, and I can see my event library still has the same three building images as well as the others. Um, and those three building images are the only ones in my album over here. So um, when you add things to an album, it doesn't take them out of their original event. That's the great thing about keeping your event library organized. The images will always stay in their proper events, no matter how many times you add them to albums or um, slideshows or books or anything. That's it for keeping your events library organized and using albums to organize further. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about editing.